how to install deb get on pop os linux 22.04 okay let's get started okay okay uh... you know what is this deb get you ask deb get is a tool made for debian ubuntu and their in their their derivatives it provides app get functionality for dot debs published in third party repos or via direct download and like I said, it works on uh, Debian and Ubuntu and their main derivatives. So why do you need it? Well, DebGet makes it easy to install and update .debs published in third-party APT repos or made available via direct download on websites or GitHub release pages. Now, if you want to know how it differs from Snaps, there's a page you can look at to get a comparison between uh, the differences between the Snaps and the Debs. And here's my pop right here. Here's the page where you could look at the um, technical the technical comparison between snaps and debs here. Okay. So let's go to terminal here. Okay. Now that we've uh, gotten a little idea as to what dot deb get is and its advantages, let's go through the installation and the usage. It's a pretty straightforward process. For this, you have to have either curl or wget on your system. If you have either one, you can go ahead and, and uh, follow along. If not, you can check for curl like this. See, I've got it there. wget, I have both. And if you don't have it, I believe for both of them would be um, sudo apt install curl or, or uh, wget. So take your pick, whichever one you want to go with. I'm going to go with the, uh, I'm going to go with, uh, I guess we can just go ahead and show both of them. Or let's go with the curl first. Let's try the curl first. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the complete curl command for downloading the bash, shell, the, the bash shell script and then piping it into a pseudo session and passing it to the bash shell interpreter and it will install deb get. So this is using the curl method here. Okay, so you can pause it here, key this in if you want, and then when you're done, you'll enter on that and wait for it to download and run the script and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, that was pretty quick. Okay, now I'll show you the, uh, the wget command as well. Okay, and here's the full command to use the wget download utility to download the deb file that that holds the dot the deb the deb get uh, binary so once you've paused it and keyed this in go ahead and enter on that and it'll download that deb file okay good let's clear this and I think it'll be somewhere here in the in the home folder okay here it is right here I like to uh, move it I like to move it to my download folder. Just keep things clean. Okay, good. And now we're going to CD into the download folder and we'll look for it there and we can work with it there. Okay, here it is right here. Okay, let's go ahead and install it now. Okay, so right here is where it lives, so we're going to install it from here. We're going to go sudo. A, you can use GDEBI as well. Let's try this. Let's go with APT. GDEBI would be good too, I think. We'll go with uh, APT for this one. Okay. Don't forget. Let's take a look at it one more time. It's it's actually. Let's take a look at what was actually downloaded. It was actually a a .dot deb file. Okay, right here. Dot dev file. Okay, clear on that, and we'll go back and run that command again. Apt install dot slash deb deb get deb get dot deb file. Okay, let's run that. I'm a little uh, to be honest, I'm a, I'm a little confused. Um, 
that it's running it with a dot slash like it's a script as opposed to I guess it's just a dev file I'm not sure why we have a dot slash I'm a little little uh, unsure on why there's a dot slash when it's a dot deb I think it would just be a you know from here over I'm not sure what the dot slash is for while like it's like it's executing it or something like, like a bash script that seems to be the instructions on how to install it so we're gonna enter on that okay and then we'll see what happens okay okay so let's see what does it say here this dot this dev get package will be downgraded and we want to install continue yes we do so we'll yes on that yep D package here was there a problem with D package even though we used APT okay let's this does this look like it actually went through permission denied okay hold on okay I ran that command again and this time everything was fine I didn't have to fix anything so I don't know what happened but it seems to be installed using that uh, command to install the dev file dot slash and we verified the ver we verified the, the uh, installed version 0 0.3.5 okay so it seems to be installed properly let's, let's try to use it now let's see what happens when we try to use it okay now uh, now that we've successfully installed the dot the, the dev get we're gonna look at some of the you know usage commands real quick so let's call it one more time just like that no flags passed in and then here's all the usage here and you're gonna have to scroll up and down or pipe this to a to a less or a more command here otherwise you get some of the uh, usages here you can scroll up and down looks pretty simple there's some st there's a few things here to, to get familiar with looks fairly straightforward though okay so let's clear that and then we're gonna go ahead and um, so yeah you know uh, dev get uh, it does provide a high level command line interface CLI for the package man for the package management system to easily install and update packages published in third-party repos or be a direct download so yeah you can see which one you can see which applications are supported by using the the the, the dev get list uh, usage there where's the usage here or the list right here you could see what's available here and then you could upgrade by using the upgrade so yeah you can read through here and see what uh, what applies to whatever your your use case situation calls for okay so now let's look at uh, how easy it is to install the brave browser with debget Okay, let's let's do that. Let's clear this up here. Now I'm not sure if we can bug out of here and do it. I don't know if it's on the path. So if I can just go to the home folder or not, if I stay here or not. Let's just go out and see what happens. Let's see if it's on the path or whatnot. So we'll bug out of the download where it is and we'll try to install it from the home folder here. Okay, so we'll go deb deb get. install brave for the brave browser brave browser okay let's see what happens enter on that looks like it's working take a look here looks like it's gonna install it And that was it. That that uh, that command here did what we wanted to do. It installed the Brave browser. Everything completed fine. So we can clear that, minimize the terminal, and I went and looked for it in the application drawer. I found it here, okay, where you would think it would be, and I actually launched it here. And there, are Brave is installed from the Deb Get utility. And you can go ahead and you know configure it and make it your home page and whatever else you gotta do with Brave Browser. But there's the Brave line right there. 
Brave is installed. Okay. Okay, so yeah, if you want to know my if you want to know my if you want to know more about the packages available in DebGet, then refer to their uh, to their to their GitHub to their GitHub page. And um in yeah, so uh so yeah, thus uh, DebGet is one of the greatest contributions. I've never heard of it before to be honest. Kind of my, kind of my, kind of my first time hearing about it. You know, I know, I know about APT, Dpackage, GDB, Eddy, whatever. I haven't really heard about this one, but it's supposedly one of the greatest contributions to the Debian community. And that might be true. They make it sound like it's been around for a while. I don't know. First time I'm hearing about it. But if, regardless of whether it's new or old, apparently it's one of the greatest contributions to the Debian community as it helps you to avoid snaps. And I know a lot of people, they don't like snaps or flat packs. Which, you know, I don't really have... I mean, I've recently come across some situations where a snap or a flat pack didn't work or one of the members in my pop group didn't ha had some problems with... Um, a snap or a flat pack, uh, not having access to the file path, or not being able to do something that it was supposed to do because it was a snap or a flat. That's why DEBs are good, because I guess they're not really sandbox for security like snaps and flats are. And I know people, they don't like snaps too much. Some like them, some don't. I've heard a lot of bad things about them from people. You know, there's, 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 pro, there's pro and cons for snaps and flat, flats. There's, you know, pro and con camps for both. So this one kind of, um, this one kind of avoids uh, whatever difficulties you might have with snaps. I don't know about how it relates to how it compares to flats, but certainly since snaps and flats are kind of mentioned in the same breath sometimes, you can maybe apply this to uh, flats as well. But certainly this helps you avoid, you know, using snaps, and it makes difficult installations a lot easier. Okay, so uh, thank you for watching. I look forward to your comment and feedback. Thank you. Comments and feedback. Thank you.